brown rice Obese white rice, VCGM, or continuous glucose monitor. Which one is healthier? Turns out I've been wrong my entire life. Ever since the start of my fitness journey, I've always been told that brown rice is healthier than white rice. I've forced myself to eat brown rice, even though I don't like it as much. Now I have my own continuous glucose monitor, which checks blood glucose, aka blood sugar levels, 24 seven. I decided to test it for myself. I made the classic gym bro meal, rice, chicken breast, and broccoli. One with white rice and one with brown rice. Both have 150 grams of dry rice. I measured the rice on a scale, I didn't use the finger method. Hi, uh, first step all wrong already. I am not confident this video is gonna be good. Sorry, Uncle Roger. Both had the same amount of chicken breast, 200 grams, and broccoli. The results shocked me. Before we get into the results, let's look into the difference between brown and white rice. White rice is essentially a more processed form of brown rice. All rice begins as brown rice. Brown rice contains bran, germ, and endosperm. No, not that kind of sperm. To make white rice, the bran and germ are removed, leaving the endosperm only. The bran and germ increase the fiber content in brown rice. This means in theory, it takes longer to digest and shouldn't spike glucose levels. Why is avoiding glucose spikes important? Because it's associated with better long-term health, like a reduced risk of metabolic disease and cardiovascular disease. And the more immediate effects are that it allows for consistent energy levels throughout the day. Ever had those post-lunch crashes or extreme hunger pangs after a carby meal? That's to do with your blood glucose levels going up too fast and consequently down too fast. This is all good in theory, but what were my actual results? I'm eating the white rice today. Glucose level, eight. That's pretty high. We're trying to keep our glucose levels between four and six for optimal glucose control 24 hours later brown rice glucose level 9.4 i couldn't believe it so i ran the test again but the results were the same glucose level 10.3 it actually went into the yellow you're probably wondering why did this happen if we examine the difference between fiber content of course it depends on the brand but in general we're looking at only a few grams difference per serving there are other factors which influence glucose levels like sleep stress and the amount of exercise done that day i have had further white rice meals which have spiked glucose to 9.8 it's not that brown rice is worse than white rice but they are probably quite similar. Disclaimer, we're only looking at blood glucose levels here and I'm not discussing micronutrient differences, like the fact that brown rice contains a lot more magnesium, niacin, vitamin B6, phosphorus, riboflavin, folate, iron and zinc. Now one could argue that brown rice also contains anti-nutrients like phytates, which could potentially reduce the absorption of all those micronutrients. Also, brown rice may contain more arsenic, but in reality, you would have to be eating bucket loads of brown rice for this to be an issue. Conclusion. So what will I eat from now on? For my personal biochemistry, I'm no longer going to be a ricist and force myself to eat brown rice because I thought it was healthier. So dry. What's important is what you're eating with the rice. So more veggies and protein will slow the release of glucose into the blood for both white and brown rice. But glucose responses are highly individual and the only way to know for sure how a food is affecting you is to test it for yourself. If you're based in Australia, you can try Viably, which is what I'm currently using. I'm trying to get an affiliate link at the moment to get you a discount. If I do, I'll leave it in the description below. In the next video, I'll be testing whether or not walking after a meal actually helps with glucose levels like they claim. I'll see you there.